right, we're returning to Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 47. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to establish that because BD equals BC and FB equals BA, then do you notice something here? You should. There are actually two triangles. One's called DBA and the other triangle is called FBC. Okay? And since we have two sides of these triangles, uh, this one to this one and this one to this one, we have two sides of these triangles that are equal and we also have an angle that's equal, then by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 47, we can say that this triangle here and this triangle here is equal in size. Now then, we have a parallelogram. It's called BDLM. Okay? And this parallelogram has twice the area of triangle DBA. Now, how can we justify this? We have to go back to Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 41 to do this. Okay? Now, in order to do this, we have to say they have the same base BD. This is BD right here. Okay? And they have the same parallels BD and AL. Okay? Since this parallelogram has the same parale parallel lines as this triangle, and because they share the same base, then this parallelogram has twice the area of this triangle. The same thing can be said of triangle FBC. Okay? Now, how do we say this? All right, we have a parallelogram. It's called GFBA. All right? Now, this parallelogram has twice the area of FBC. How do we say that? Well, because they have the same base FB right here, and they have the same parallels FB and GC. And because of Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 41, we can now say that this triangle here has half the area of this parallelogram right here, which, by the way, also happens to be a square. All right. Now, if you take two equal numbers and you multiply both numbers by 2, they're still going to be equal. In other words, if you if you had two on one side of the equal sign and you had two like uh, we'll put it right here, let's say you had uh, two on one side of the equal sign, you had two on the other side, like this, and you multiplied them by two. Well, four equals four. If two equals two, then four equals four. All right, same type of deal. We have two triangles here that are equal in size. We know that this parallelogram here is double the size of this triangle. We know that this parallelogram here is double the size of this triangle. So, parallelogram GFBA and parallelogram BDLM have the same amount of area. That doesn't mean that they're necessarily the same size. Obviously, the length of, of this here is a little bit bigger than this length here. But, the area inside of this is the same as the area inside of that. Alright, I will tell you more in my next video. Stay tuned.